Right everybody, I've been cooking and I am cooking. Um, yesterday I went to um, I went to Leeds and I went to with a friend to this new Persian restaurant. Um, Persian food is probably one of the nicest um, types of cuisine that I've probably ever eaten. Um, it's all really fresh, clean, um, it's not really spicy. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do a mixture of cooking today. So I wanted to show you what I've done this this evening. So I've made um, I've made a salad. So all that's in this salad, I'm going to bring it up to the camera and show you. So all that's in here is uh, one whole um, vine ripe tomato, half a cucumber, half an onion, a full red bell pepper, lemon juice. Um, so I put two whole lemons in, which there wasn't that much juice because they're only small. I put some apple cider vinegar into taste, salt and pepper. Oh, and I put some sumac in. Uh, sumac. No, I'm lying. I put some uh, mint in. The sumac I put in the rice that I'm making. So I also put in some dried mint. Not a lot. You can see the flex of it on the salad and then I just mixed it up and left it so there's loads made, a black bit on there, there's loads made up and I'm just, just going to help myself to that and then I did some basmati rice. Now if you go to Tesco you can get a 2kg um, bag of basmati for um, £3.50 on club card. So this is my basmati, so all that's in here is I, I boiled it in water and salt and then afterwards I put in some dill, not as much as the Iranians do, they would really pack it, I probably could put some more in, right, but I put that much in and then that there that you see that ready stuff is something called sumac or sumac or sumac, I don't know how they pronounce it, but it's like, um, it's got like a tangy, in, well like it says tangy and citrusy and it's really good for uh, the digestive system as well. Um, so that's them two and then what I thought was I'm going to make something that you may be familiar with it you may not um, I've just washed the sink out and that thing's got bloody tuna juice oil in it I've not washed it properly so that's going to have to go back in the sink but yeah if you've ever been to Greece um, or you've been eating these, t these types of restaurants you'll be aware of a yogurt dip now I think the Greeks or the Albanians call it zadiche so, I used to be married to an Albanian and that's how he used to pronounce it, or his cousin did, because his cousin used to make it all the time. Zadzice, I think it is. So, I don't know why I've just cut that frigging cucumber in half, because I want to grate it. Do it like that, it'll be easier to handle. So what we need to start with is grating the cucumber. Then we need somewhere to put the grated cucumber, so it might just about fit in there. Why the hell did I chop that in half? Because I'm not thinking. So the other thing that I'm going to be making um, today, or this evening should I say, is I'm going to make um, some salmon and I'm going to get it ready, to, I'm going to prepare it, I'm going to get it ready but what I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate it for a few hours. I'm going to make a marinated dip. It's going to have garlic, salt, lemon. See, that's because I chopped it in half that. I don't know why I did that. I know better. Try to do it this way. Yeah, so we're going to get some garlic, salt, some pepper. We'll put some... Oh, hang on. Thanks, lovey. Thank you. Something's just turned up from Amazon. I've got absolutely no clue what it is. It's in a big tub, big box. Just trying to think what I've, what I've ordered recently. Maybe it's a gift. Anyway, let's get back to this. So, anyway, you don't need to see me grate any more bleeding cucumber, do you? So what you do then, 
we're, we're going to chop this. We're not going to waste it. But what you want to do with the cucumbers, you want to squeeze the water out of it. Can you see how it's dripping out? And then put it in there. And the same. The same with this. Just put that over there. Yes, yeah, so I'm coming to Manchester tomorrow. I've got to go uh, with my boss to visit a client in Manchester City Centre. I'm just chopping this up now because I don't want to waste it. Yeah, I'm going with my boss to visit a client in Manchester. And I'm thinking, if I get there on time, if I get there early enough, I don't want the rest of that. If I get there early enough, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video. It's going to be down um, near the university. So uh, it's been a few years since I went down that end of Manchester. There's that old cinema on the corner. I think it shows like independent film. I mean, it always did. It was always, you know, on the odd side. But it did used to be a full-on cinema across the road from the palace many years ago. Right, so ideally that's not what it looks like because I've left them big chunks in. It should all be like grated, but I don't want to waste it. So what we need now is some garlic. I'm only going to put two cloves in because I don't want to reek too much of garlic. Especially since I'm going meeting people tomorrow. And obviously I'm not eating all of this. This is just going to be a dip for the fridge. Now all of these things are really nice because if you make up like batches of food like this, it not only is it nice and fresh, but it's really appetising and you know, once you've done it, you're not like starting cooking and all sorts. I mean obviously we've got to cook the salmon later, but we'll do we'll do the same with the salmon that we're doing with everything else. It'll get cooked in bulk and it'll get stored in the fridge and then eaten over the next three days or so. That's burning my finger, that. Right, I like my garlic to be chopped quite coarsely. Um, you do it as to what suits you. Right, now, once you've got the garlic in, uh, I think we're going to go... I think I'm going to put a bit of mint in this. It's not traditional to it. But I think it'll be nice. I think it'll bring out the flavours nicely. And then we want yoghurt. I'm using 0% natural yoghurt. And then we want... And I've got this olive oil. It's massive, right? 750ml. Uh, a fiver wit club card. So... I'm going to measure the olive oil out because I want to point this and then divide it down. I don't really suppose it's much point. Yeah, because I could do it in things. So uh, one teaspoon, I think we only need two. Two teaspoons of olive oil. And then we want some vinegar. Uh, I've already got it out. I'm using the apple cider vinegar, which I love. It's got mother in it. That's what they call it. Then we want some salt, but I don't know where the bleeding salt is. So let's go on the hunt for the salt. I got this salt the other day from Poundland. So you can always add more, can't you? Let's just give that a stir. Now it's just getting everything mixed together nicely. Uh, you know what, to be honest with you, I think I put a bit too much olive oil in. But really, it won't make that much difference because you only have a bit of this dip anywhere. You know, it's like a, a side dip. taste it oh yeah that's proper 
So I'm going to put that in the fridge now. It's only me eating it. That's why I put the farm back in. <laughs> right. I'm going to get that in the fridge. Where can we put it? Oh, my fridge doesn't always look like this, by the way. I <laughs> just cleaned it out. Normally it's just full of crap. So yeah, I'm not trying to get off like I've got a posh fridge because I definitely haven't. But I do like it to be organised, just like sometimes it isn't. When I do a load of bulk cooking, this is how I have it. Um, do you want to show your contents in the fridge? I've got... That in there. Got an open can of Bobsy's food. I've got some apple tizer. I'll show you. Them ski yogurts there, I got them for my mother. Because she likes them, but then she didn't eat any. This is nice. Um, elderflower, light sparkling cordial. I say it's nice, but I've had it in there for about three months now. I've not opened it. Got some Philadelphia at back which I may or may not eat, I don't know. And then I get these for my breakfast when I can be bothered eating any breakfast. Um, they're only like, look, 29 calories each, but they're quite right, as long as you don't overcook them. And then this is the salmon. This is what I've got left over from, not yesterday, the day before, because I didn't eat in yesterday, because I went out to that restaurant. And then I got that, I think it was seven quid on offer from Tesco, if you paid with your thing, 500 grams. And then I've got some spread, but I never use it. And then I searched to, those little tomatoes, some more peppers, some cucumber, and then my, my salad bits, bits that I've cooked there. And underneath is just some potatoes. And then over here, I've got some mini gherkins, some burger gherkins, which are full of sugar. Sweet pickle from Aldi, I think. Mustard and some gel frazy paste, which I'll probably never use, but for some reason don't throw it away. And then the egg milk. So, should we get on with the salmon? Right, I've decided to leave the salmon in that bowl. Well, on the skin actually, because it won't come off. It's getting on my wick. So, I'm only marinating it for now anyway, so it really doesn't make any difference. And for the ma marinade, what we're going to do, we're going to do a mixture of uh, a mixture of this. I'm just going to make it up. But I've got an idea of what I'm doing, but I'm going to make it up for the most part. So you want some turmeric, probably about a teaspoonful. We want some of that sumac. A bit of that in. Uh, we're going to put some cayenne pepper in, because I want like a bit of a peppery vibe going on. Let's get a good clump of You know what, I just said do it to taste. You know what you like, don't you? I'm gonna put a bit of cinnamon in. Don't know why, but I'm doing it. Uh, we want some dill weed, because dill weed goes really nicely with salmon. And I know we've got it in the rice, but we'll have it in the salmon anyway. And then we want some garlic salt. Oh shit, no, that's about right. And then, we want some lemon juice. So I've got these old lemons here. I've had these for the yonks, but you can't eat them, but they're still juicy. I think we'll have to use that to get the juice out. If um, one of my followers, I'm not going to say your name, love, but you know who you are. You nearly had a fit the other day when you saw me cutting some up. <laughs> Uh, the, the blade's nowhere near me and I'll tell you what I did do yesterday though, I was in the shower and I was shaving my legs and I pulled the shaver around from the back of my leg and it, I grazed all my um, top of my thigh I don't shave the top of my thighs I just shave back with my legs but it grazed it all I didn't feel it but afterwards I thought what the hell's that and then it was there just pouring my blood so anyway the lip ah I've just stabbed myself. <laughs> so anyway, the lemon is going to allow the marinade to coat the fish. But I don't think we're going to have enough um, lemon juice with what we've got. And I'm not using any of my limes because they're friggin' expensive. So 
I'm going to use some of that apple cider vinegar, which will be ample because you need like quite a bit of fluid. Let's get a bit of that vinegar in. I think we're going to put a bit of olive oil in as well. So vinegar and then olive oil. Put a bit of that in. About a, tea, about a tablespoonful. Again, this is only a marinade, so it's not. It's only going to coat, and then it'll cook off anyway. I said cook off. So give it a mix. Oh, you want to be adding some salt as well. I know we've got the garlic salt, but that's neither here nor there. So the salt will enhance the flavour of the spices. Again, it might seem like a lot, but it really isn't. By the time this marinade drains off, and it will drain off the salmon, there'll be hardly anything there. So let's pour it over. That. And then I'm just going to press the salmon into the mixture. It smells really nice actually. I just want to coat that bit at the top there. And then we'll get a lid on it and we'll put it in the fridge for like, I don't know, a couple of hours. I'm not hungry yet. When I am, we'll get it in the. I think. I think we're going to cook it in the frying pan though. Uh, let's get a lid for that. Right then, so there it is. Let it marinate in the fridge and then we'll be back in a couple of hours. Oh, however long I feel like I need to wait till I'm hungry. This is what I use for my frying uh, coconut oil because it's really good at really high temperatures and you want to need a little bit. So there's about a teaspoonful in there. I'm going to get this salmon out. I've been thinking since I put it in the fridge, well not like constantly thinking about it, but like wondering what's going to be the best. That's what it looks like now. To be fair, it's not been marinated that long, but I'm hungry. So, I probably, I've probably been in there about an hour, I'd say. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start by frying it, but I don't want to fry it too high. Because I don't want to ruin it, you know. And I'm starting by cooking it. Skin down. And in the sauce as well. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but as you can see, I've just done it. So. Right, everyone. So, the salmon is poaching very nicely in the spice and the herbs. I made the balls up because what I shouldn't have done, and I knew this prior to before doing it, I didn't do it blindly, I knew it was a gamble. But what I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have removed the skin just yet because the skin is what keeps it obviously as a fillet. Not that it needs to be a fillet, and I just want to cut, I think it's actually ready. So I think what we're going to do, let me pull the camera back. And I think I'm going to serve it up and just see what I'm, what I'm left with. So this is the fish. Good thing about cooking like this is that Good thing about cooking like this and, and there's still look there's all that fish left but that's going to be for the next few days because you don't need a lot of fish uh, but the good thing about cooking like this is that you can let me get the right i just wanted to warm that rice up a little bit 
you can, um, you know, when you want to eat, you can just come and get something. You don't have to start cooking. Or... So we're going to get some of this salad that I showed before. We want to get a nice amount of that on. I'm just going to wait for the rice and then we'll put the zizichi on. I hope that's the right pronunciation. This is... Uh, Oh, there's the rice. For the reason why I warm the rice up, one, I thought it'd be nice driving them in it room warm temperature, but also it stuck together a little bit. So, so this is the finished article. We've not finished it completely. That's the salmon the salad and the rice weight watchers points wise this is quite heavy i think this is about seven points this is two points per teaspoon tablespoon and i've had if i'm honest i've had three <laughs> so that's six so that's seven thirteen but the salad counteracts some of that so the salad, if I finish all of this salad today, it's debatable whether I actually do, but all of that will account to about three points that I've accumulated. So this isn't the best Weight Watchers meal. However, it's not the worst and, you know, you need to have a mixture, don't you? So we're just going to have a bit of a drizzle. I'm going to put the majority at the side there. I'm just going to have literally a teaspoonful with that yogurt sauce to show you what it looks like now it's all you get the oil around the edge but you just mix it back in I haven't done on this occasion because I just want the yogurt but tomorrow when I have some I'll mix it in and I think we're going to give it a go so everyone this is my tea that's just a bit of fish skin that I took off from before I've not moved it yet so this is my tea, so I'm really not going to spend, like, ages eating it. But we're going to try, we'll try a little bit of the salmon on its own first and then we'll have a combination, eh? So it's cooked. That's nice. I think the mistake I've made... And it'll have to wait and see tomorrow when it's emulsified in those juices that I poached it in. But I think it would have been better fried. And it always is better fried salmon. But I was just trying to be a bit, a bit healthier with it. So let's just give everything a bit of a mix. Some of that salmon. God, this is a spoonful, isn't it? A bit of that thing. So that's the spoonful. I've not even put any salt on that yet. I probably will. Because I put salt in everything. But that's really nice and I'm going to really enjoy that. Um, let me know if you're going to give it a go. That's the food. So I've got plenty of the yoghurt sauce left. Loads of the salad. I need to eat that tonight. I don't think I will though. And absolutely loads of the rice. I mean, there's literally days worth of rice there. A burly touched the 2kg bag i mean literally it's just that corner of it there so that's going to last for ages and that with feet paying 50 and you know what you know in times like now and this is part of the reason why i've done it just to get a bit more mindful about the, the amount of money that's being spent on food and stuff and you know you can have nice food but you just obviously need to cook it yourself so let you over i'm gonna have my tea and then i'm gonna put the fish away let it cool down put it look at all that mess let it put down let it cool down put it in the fridge and then eat it over the next few days for like my tea and stuff so i hope you've liked it thank you for watching and uh, this weekend i am in oldham so we definitely 100 percent will have an oldham video we didn't feel like it this weekend gone that's why nothing went up because i was just too tired i don't feel well but i feel great now um that's it so i'm gonna have my tea thanks for watching